Hello world, it's Siraj and I've open sourced a $10 running shoe that uses the energy generated by my footsteps to mine Bitcoin. I've embedded piezoelectric sensors into the sole of the shoe, which generate an electric charge from each step. This energy powers a tiny computer called the Raspberry Pi that I programmed in Python to connect to the internet and mine Bitcoin. I get paid Bitcoin to run. Let me show you how you can build your own Bitcoin miner at home. We only need three things, an energy source, a computer, and an internet connection. Bitcoin miners convert their local energy source into money. Ultimately, this will help us achieve type one civilization status on the Kardashev scale. We'll need a shoe, glue gun, raspberry Pi, pen, multimeter, piezoelectric sensors, cardboard, a battery, scissors, tape, and a soldering iron. Let's build this hardware. First, we'll pull the sole out of the shoe. Then we'll trace the shape onto a piece of cardboard. We'll cut out a cardboard sole to embed the sensors into in a second. Check out these sensors. Whenever I tap them, the multimeter measures the power output in amps. We can glue each sensor onto the cardboard sole. This material generates an electric current when pressure is applied. It's called the piezoelectric effect. It's when the arrangement of atoms with a positive charge and a negative charge within some material are changed through pressure, like a footstep, and then produces a current. We can then solder the sensors in parallel using this circuit diagram. Lastly, I'll add cardboard on top of the sensors to create a bounce. We can then insert the sole into the shoe and solder the sensor wire to power the rechargeable battery, which powers the Raspberry Pi. All done. Now we need to program the software to mine Bitcoin. So now let's get to the software. The first step is for us to download a Python IDE called Thani for MicroPython programming for the Raspberry Pi Pico. Let's take a look at the code here. The first step is for us to import our internet connection libraries. Then we'll import our Bitcoin libraries and our logging libraries. So after the imports, we're going to connect to the internet, generate a Bitcoin address, send that Bitcoin address to a laptop miner, use the laptop miner to construct the block header, and use that laptop miner to actually mine the block. So onto our laptop, we're gonna download Bitcoin Core, which will create a full mining node for us on our laptop. Then we're gonna download a program called PyMiner by Jeff Garzik. This is a Python-based Bitcoin client, and we need Bitcoin Core for it to work. So we're gonna download PyMiner, and once we have that, we're going to connect to a pool using slush pool. We're gonna input our wallet address there, so we are connected to the pool. Then we'll create a node.js app that receives the address generated by the shoe and then uses that address for Bitcoin mining using PyMiner. And that's also connected to a pool so we get regular payouts as opposed to having to wait uh, for us alone individually to get the block reward because that would be really hard. Whereas in a pool, we get regular payouts. And that's how the Bitcoin mining shoe works. I challenge you to build your own Bitcoin miner using a renewable energy source. Post a picture or video on Twitter with the hashtag Bitcoin mining challenge. I'll send the winner a signed edition of my shoe. Deadline is August 15th. The sign up form is in the description. Good luck wizards.